From that big name, John Tortorella, to the Iser plan. At number eight, does Steve Iserman know how to discern talent? Is the sky blue? Yes, to the winged wheel and the Detroit Red Wings who come in at number eight. One expert said about Nate Danielson, a Ryan Kessler type, a championship team player. We remember hearing his name on draft night. We jump back to our experts, and I want to see Sam, you first. Edvinson? has your focus why it's a lot like Mo Sider I mean a little bit of a surprise where he was taken sixth overall same as Mo Sider a big guy who can defend really well with the offense expected to come at a little bit of a later date so Edmondson is a wonderful skater really good with his stick keeps great gaps on players um, had a real good run through Grand Rapids in the American Hockey League, but also got into nine NHL games with the Detroit Red Wings, scored two goals. And if you think about having two big guys in the back end to anchor your top pairing, you got Sider on the right side, you got Evanson on the left side. Man, that is pretty tough for any forward group to try and get through. But I love the fact that he's got some international experience. He's got some SHL experience. Now he's got some AHL experience under his belt with the NHL experience as well. All those experience, I think, will come to the fore to allow him to make a real run and push for a spot with Detroit this year. It's going to be tough. They're packed back there. But I think he's going to try and push through here and make it difficult on some of the older players. Well, let's continue with the size in Detroit. Elmer Soderblom, another big player for the Detroit Red Wings. A guy that made the team out of camp last season. Played in 21 games for them at eight points. He's 6'6", 220 pounds. Not surprising. Yeah, he's pretty good around the net. Not only being a big body around the net, but you're looking at the hands as well. He's been an effective player at the NHL level in that sense. Winning pucks back in the offensive zone. Detroit wants to be a little more physical, a little tougher to play against. I think he can help in those areas, forechecking, things like that. Where I think he's going to have to improve is, is consistency for him. Better decision-making with the puck in all three zones at the NHL level. But he's a guy I'm looking at. You can add a little bit of scoring maybe in the bottom six. Uh, and Detroit needs to score a little more. That's where he could potentially be helpful uh, for this team. We'll see where they start him this season. Bigger players take a little longer. So no panic by any means uh, if it's not, you know, right with Detroit right away all season. But an exciting guy to watch progress. One GM told me you draft what you can't teach. You can't teach six foot eight. <laughs> That's amazing. And I hope he ends up being a glue guy because his first name is Elmer.